Welcome back guys, General Tony here, coming back with the second episode of the day. So the sneak peeks have just been released obviously, so it's time to get my little bubble bot to farm some more. So I've been farming over the last, I would say, six weeks quite vigorously. We've done 50 of these level 10 walls, and we've also got our heroes up three or four levels. So I've decided to completely stop using Dark Elixir in my army, apart from the Earthquake spells, two Hog Riders, and two Minions. Yes guys, we are using the Queen Walk. So I've dropped about two, 300 trophies from Titans League, guys. We were in Titans League last week, and I'm finding some big-ass Dark Elixir raids. So we're not going to waste any time. I'm going to show you the most recent one, where there is over 7,500 Dark Elixir. Are you ready, guys? Are you ready? Look at that, 7,550 Dark Elixir. This is the biggest Dark Elixir raid I have ever had, but it's weird because there's only 450,000 gold and 570,000 Elixir. I mean, have you ever seen a Dark Elixir raid with more than that? Let me know in the comment section, guys. What is your biggest Dark Hall? This is definitely the biggest one I've ever used. Now, as I said, I have stopped using pretty much all golems in my armies. I've also stopped using Valkyries because they just cost too much Dark Elixir. And believe it or not, in the last 12 to 14 hours since I've started farming using Queen Walk, I have made 65,000 Dark Elixir, which is insane. So hopefully that means that we can now upgrade our king or our queen tonight. Now I need you guys to do me a favor. I don't know which hero to upgrade. I want to take one to level 25 before the update is released. Now we are maybe going to gem them. I'm kind of feeling to gem the heroes. I tell you what guys, honestly, if we get 2,000 likes on this episode, I will gem the heroes tonight. So if you want to see some gemming, make sure you smash that like button down below. But I want to know, which hero should we take to level 25? Is it going to be the king? Or is it going to be the queen? I mean, the queen's an absolute beauty, and she just does so much damage in a base. But then again, the king, he's just a tank, and he, he protects the queen. So I really don't know which one to go for. So if you didn't know how to queen walk, by the way, it's very simple, guys. Use an archer queen. If she's extremely high level, you only need, I would say, three healers. But because mine's quite low level, I've gone with four healers. Now, if you use any more than four, then they're just going to be completely pointless, guys, because Supercell nerfed the healers, which makes them just basically means that any more than four on one, one single actual troop just completely renders the healers useless. So we're actually trying to get into the base here. Here we go. And it's going to be queen against queen. I wish I had that level 29 queen. I really do. I'm not going to lie. Having low level heroes completely sucks, guys, even inside a war. I just get wrecked sometimes. But our queen is going to take out their queen. We're also probably going to use the actual second rage spell here. I can't remember. Do we use it? Don't forget, guys, the rage spell makes the healers heal the queen if they're inside of the rage spell. Makes the healers heal the queen like three times faster. So the rage spell is awesome with healers and queen. Unfortunately, though, if you do use all of your rage spells and don't keep one for your army, then you could be in serious trouble. So I actually didn't use a rage spell there. I kept it for the giants. Now, we are using 16 giants. 12 wizards, the king, the queen, the grand warden of course, 2 hog riders, 2 valkyries, 2 rage spells, 1 free spell, 4 earthquakes, 1 poison, and sometimes, if I'm lucky, I can bring a clan castle. Now we're also using 5 archers just in case we need them, and what else? 6 wall breakers, yeah, that is pretty much the entire army. So luckily, we've just 2 starred a pretty much maxed out town hall 11 base. Got the town hall down, of course we got a shit ton of that gold guys, the dark elixir, and of course the elixir. Unfortunately... I didn't see that there was two storages, sorry, two collectors down there, two little uh, Dark Elixir drills, and I left them both, and it means I left almost 3,000 Dark Elixir on the table, so we only managed to grab 5,000, it made me so upset, guys, honestly. The biggest Dark Elixir raid I've ever seen in my entire life, and we didn't manage to grab it all, but you know what, it is against the Town Hall 11, and as I said, my heroes aren't maxed, so it was very hard for me to do a lot of damage to this base, but at the end of the day, we still got the two-star, and we got a great loot bonus. So we are continuing our warpath onto another base, guys, and we come across a Town Hall 10. Now, there's only 2.5k DE inside of this base, but don't forget, you do get a loot bonus, and you also get a great amount of gold. Now, the army costs me, I would say it costs quite a lot of elixir. I'm not really sure how much, but we, we don't really spend too much, to be honest. It kind of counters itself out, and if you find a great elixir raid, then you're going to be laughing all the way to the bank, because your gold's going to be up, your elixir's going to be up, and of course, your dark elixir... The most precious jewel of them all is going to be completely loaded inside of your account. So as I said, we farmed, I would say, just over 65 KDE. We've lost about 4,000 on defense. These little buggers are starting to rob me on defense, guys. Anytime that your Dark Elixir storage starts to get maxed out, people just come onto your base just for the Dark Elixir. I mean, they will lose trophies just to grab your Dark Elixir. And it happens to me all the time, especially up here in the Champions League. So the Queen's doing a great job, already up to 13% damage. Now, because she's such a low level, 
Once the Expos, once she gets some range of like Expos and Archer Towers, she is in the Shiznit. She's going to get targeted and she's almost going to go down. We just used her ability in time. Luckily for us, she grabbed both of those gold storages there. Did she grab two or one? Was it two? No, one gold storage, sorry. One gold storage, and we only got 60,000 gold from it, so it kind of sucks. But we also, did we get the Dark Elixir? No, we haven't got the Dark Elixir, but we've taken out a lot of the buildings in the way. And we've also cleared the buildings on the right-hand side. Going to use the Queen, the second Rage Spell on the Queen and the Healers. Just managed to keep her alive again, and now she's gone back up to max health. Where are you going? Why did you go down there for? Now she's getting targeted by the Inferno Tower. She's dead. What a silly woman. You're dead now. Look what you've done. Yeah, so we're going to try and save these healers. Let's see if we can send in some giants. So we're going to attack from the top, guys, because the Dark Elixir is a nice, easy grab there. If we can make sure all of the dragons... Sorry, not the dragons. I wish I had dragons. I make sure all of the giants, the Peck of the King, the Grand Warden, and the Harry Potters funnel down towards the bottom of the base, and hopefully... We should be able to get that Dark Elixir. So we sent in the two little piggies from the left-hand side. Make sure we can take out that bloody cannon. Going to do some damage to us. Now, we have a free spell. Going to drop the freeze on the Inferno, the multi-target, the Expo, and the Clan Castle. Of course, there's nothing in the CC, so it's completely pointless. Now, the Giants... Oh, use a Grand Warden's ability just in time. Saved us from that big bomb. Now, the Giants are getting wiped out by the Inferno Tower. For do not fear, we have some Harry Potters, and they are here. So the Harry Potters are doing damage to the Clan Castle. The Inferno Tower is getting taken out. Going to rage up the king now. We're making our way towards that 50% two-star, guys. Are oh, we going to get that sound hall down? Of course we are. Going to drop a poison spell, maybe. Tony, are you going to drop a poison? No, 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 no. I, I just didn't drop a poison. I don't know why. But don't worry, guys. We're up to 50%. And we got the two stars. Two stars in the bag. We got all of the Dark Elixir. We get a great loot bonus once again. And the army that I'm using only costs me about, I would say, what? Maybe... Maybe 500 Dark Elixir, including the Hog Riders, the Minions, and the Earthquake Spells. Maybe 600. So it looks like we're taking about 2,500 profit from this raid. And to be honest, it kind of sucked. There wasn't even that much loot inside of it. But because the army is so damn cheap for Dark Elixir, we're just making a shit ton of cash. So let's go and have some fun. Let's go in for a live raid this time. So we have a queen, a king. We have, well, let's just get everything. Let's get all of our troops ready. We're going to go out there and see what we can find in this bloody battlefield. Can we get a great Dark Elixir loot raid? I've got a feeling that I'm going to fail this because I always fail live raids and I just completely suck at it, guys. Yeah, I've got a really bad feeling here, but we're going to gem, 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 gem. Tony's a gemmer. Da, 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 da. Oh, damn. 31 gems. Holy hell, this is costing a lot. All right. So that's them done. Going to gem the king. 15. You're so expensive, queen 13. Holy hell. All right. We're ready, though, guys. That's our army. As I said, it's the exact same army I've been using for the last 12 hours. So it's basically like... A cheap queen walk, I think. I think it's quite a cheap one. So let's go and see if we can find a town hall 10, hopefully. If not, don't worry about it. Remember, because you're doing a queen walk, the eagle artillery doesn't wake up until you drop in the mess of the rest of your army. So it's pretty good because as long as the eagle artillery stays quiet, that little pigeon there, then you should be cushy. You should be all right to go and no one should take your queen out. Okay, so here we go, guys. The target has been spotted. Now, this base is only going to get one star. It's very, very unlikely I two-star this base, but I'm going to go for it because I'm not really bothered about trophies. Oh, wrong spell. Not really bothered about trophies here. I just want some Dark Elixir because we are getting close to, I think, 75,000 Dark Elixir, which is awesome. So we're going to drop it. No, I forgot to send in a giant first. Damn, just made the biggest mistake I could ever make. Okay, okay, we're in trouble now. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to drop in these Hog Riders first to draw out the Clan Castle. Yep, there's a CC inside of there. And there's a Dragon. Oh, damn, I hate Dragons. All right, we're going to poison the Dragon, the Little Piggy, and all of the Archers. Then we're going to take the Dragon up here, and we're going to kill that Little Dragon with our Queen Walk. So that Little Pig's dying. We are roasting that Little Son of a Bitch. There he goes. So the Little Pig's died, guys. The Giant may or may not die. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, damn, this, this, this bloody uh, this Dragon's going to cause me a lot of problems. But it doesn't matter, guys. Let's take him up here. Are we going to be able to take him out? That is the question. Yeah, it should be okay. If it's not, then it's just going to be a complete fail. But I'm going to go for it anyway because... Oh, don't wake up. You bloody stay asleep there. That scared me. I bloody saw his eyes go orange and I thought he was going to wake up. So we've dropped in the hog riders, the piggies, and all of those troops. So we could be in a little bit of danger here. Bloody dragon, leave me alone. Dragon. Dragon. Oh, he almost killed me, guys. See how close that was. Wow, that was close. All right. So, Queen, can you go inside, please? I want you to take out the... No! No, Queen! Queen! I knew it. I bloody knew it. All right, we're going to have to send in the backup. Go, army. 
Go on, army. Send in the backup. Going to use the Grand Warden there. Going to send in... Everything's going inside now, guys. We are going for the one star. We're going to use the Grand Warden's ability once these troops get right deep inside of the core. Going to keep the actual... The free spell for the bloody Inferno Tower. Yep, we got it. We got it. Going to send in another another one. Yeah, going to use a Grand Warden's ability now. Come on, my bloody little troops. Get the Dark Elixir, please. If you do anything, if you don't do it... No, Big Bomb. Just get the Dark Elixir for me, please, guys. There we go. We got the Dark Elixir. I don't mind losing. I had a feeling I was going to mess up this raid. I had a really bad feeling. Come on. Come on, King. Do it for Tony. Do it for Tony. Please, if you believe... I believe in you. I believe in you, troops. Take out that bloody Inferno Tower. Come on. Come on, please. We're up to 45%, guys. Oh, we've got a P.E.K.K.A. We've got a P.E.K.K.A. We could do this. Come on, P.E.K.K.A. Take out the little wizard hut. Take out the little bloody thing. Yes, we're up to 48%. 48%. No. No. We lost. We lost, guys. I can't believe that. 48%. It's all the queen's fault. The bloody queen. Stupid little woman didn't go inside of the walls. Anyway, guys, that is the end of this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. Yeah, and I'm really sorry about that last attack. I mean, what can I say? I kind of suck. I told you that. I kind of do suck. Yeah, definitely messed up with those wall breakers. Never do that. Never send in wall breakers unless you know they're going to get through. Make sure you drop a giant first. So if you have enjoyed this video, guys, let's smash that like button down below. Don't forget, if you want to see me gemming the heroes, I want to see 2,000 likes, and I will gem them later on today. Stay tuned for the, whoa, another episode. If you do hit that like button, I will see you very, very shortly. Subscribe if you haven't already, guys. Love you all. Peace out.